WMMV Nashville. Demetria Kaladimos and Dan Miller with the news. Rudy Kalis Sports and Bill Hall's weather. Next on Impact 4, a night owl in tennis shoes. 54 years old. Some people think this man is crazy. You might think so too. But this running man could care less. I'm Andy Pearson. You'll meet one of Nashville's fixtures in the middle of the night. Coming up next in Impact 4. What is your favorite time of day for exercising? For some of you, it's probably the morning. For others, it's right after work. And for others, the best time is in the evening. But one Nashville man says the best time for him to exercise is in the middle of the night, after he's been asleep for a couple of hours. Andy Pearson is here with Impact 4 and Nashville at night. Where'd you find this guy? Well, it was, it was one of those strange things. <clears throat> Gary Knox and I were out about six weeks ago, with photojournalist Gary Knox. It was snowing outside. Mm -hmm. It was about 38 degrees. And I'm driving down West End, 3 in the morning, can't go to sleep. And I look over and I see this man running with his dog. And I don't usually do this, but I, I yelled out the window at him and said, do you always run at 3 in the morning? Well, you're about to see the answer. I found this 54-year-old man who's been a fixture of the night in Nashville since the 1970s. <clears throat> It's a time when the city neither stops nor goes, only flashes yellow. When the wind blows coldest. When sounds that would be buried in daylight come alive over the nighttime stillness. A time of day most men and beasts would not claim as their own, except for a select few. Hey, two o'clock until four o'clock, that's, that's my time. If I'm in New York, if I'm in Chicago, if I'm in Phoenix, uh, and I've been, you know, all these places, uh, I, uh, everywhere I am at this time of morning, I get up and I do me an hour and 25, 30 minutes. <laughs> Move on, dog. I've been running since about 1976. And I love to run at night because I'm the only one out here. I know nobody by name, but I know every truck and all the homeless folks and folks I yell at and wave at and folks who are watching out for me, police, the garbage folks, the news people, everybody. He's a fixture to people who work the night shift, as reliable as time itself. No, they see me, but they really don't know who I am. Every now and then, I'll talk to one person or something, but 90% of them don't know who I am, have no idea. They only know they see me out here almost every morning, about the same time. He's the running man. His name is James Haney, Dr. James Haney, a professor of history at Tennessee State University. His weekly routine has been the same for 20 years. Move on, dog. I'm 54 years old. Feel like I'm 19. That's enough for me. I go to bed at 10, get up at 2, go back at 4, 15, 15, and back up at 6. You heard right. At about 2 in the morning, when most of us are snuggled up tight, James Haney and his dog Sandy get up from a sound sleep and run their route of 9.78 miles. He does it because he was once told this would be impossible. Back in 1975, my, my grandfather accidentally shot me in the... Uh, leg with a 38 caliber pistol <coughs> excuse me and i was told that uh, i would never be able to walk again unless i started to use the leg and of course as soon as i got out of the hospital i started running around the yard here and uh, after a week of that in the yard uh, went on to uh, the uh, local high school and after uh, about six years of that i decided to uh, go downtown <laughs> You won't see him wearing hey. headphones or taking his pulse. His shoes don't pump up. James Haney just runs. Down West End, past Vanderbilt. Morning. How are you doing? Up and down the deserted streets of downtown Nashville. To the banks of the Cumberland River. Down to first. It's nine and seven-eighths of a mile down to the foot all the way greeting and waving to people he's seen for nearly a third of his life. Well, man, 
How are you doing this morning? Good, you? All right. James Haney does this five days a week. Same time, same route, same distance. I can't see any disadvantages in this at all. And this is what I do, and I love it. I'm not doing this with people. And if they don't, if they think I'm crazy, well, I can appreciate that. I just believe in the human personality, and I believe that we can do anything that we want to do once we make up our minds to do it. It takes an hour and a half out of my day, and I think it's worth it. Plus, it requires discipline, and I think I got that. And that makes me feel good about myself. Gives me greater self-esteem, and I can get out and meet the world better. As he makes that last block toward home, there's no one there. No welcoming committee at the finish line. No one to notice. Before he goes back to his wife and children in his warm bed, there's always a prayer of thanks that he's been able to put one foot in front of the other for another night. Oh, thank you, Lord. Okay. Thanks that he can still devote two hours out of each 24, even though it is in the middle of the night, to his body and his well-being. Thanks that there is life, and that life is good. There are a few people that I grew up with are alive today, you see, and uh, many of them have died of heart attacks and strokes and violence and whatnot, but uh, Dr. Haney keeps pushing on. And I tell folks that I'm going to be around here a long, long time. I'm going to be around here at least 100 plus. You know, I mean, that's what I'm looking for, you know. In fact, Dr. Haney says he plans to live to be 120. Very you know, Willard impressive. Scott. <laughs> now, does the doctor ever have problems out there? Anybody ever attack him or try to rob him or anything? Never. In 20 years. Really? Never had a problem. In all those cities, too. But he, he says the, the biggest threat is the cars, you know, yeah. coming out from the clubs yeah. late at night, so he doesn't run on Saturday. Yeah. Very, very, not, very impressive. I'm, I'm amazed he goes to bed, wakes up, and does this. Yeah, and, I'm, and, he, and he's refreshed. That's <laughs> amazing. Goes back to bed. <laughs> Demetria. Ahead on the scene at 6, they don't call him Mr. Fix-It for nothing.